Welcome to Lavanja's computer classes. In this video, I'll explain schedule in DBMS. In the transactions, we have one word is there, terminology schedule. So what is schedule in DBMS? So first we'll go for definition of a schedule. What is schedule means? A schedule is defined as an execution sequence of transactions. So what is a transaction means? Transaction is a list of actions. We have we are doing some set of actions one after another that is called as transaction. But which action is executed first? Which one is coming next? We need some execution sequence because we have to execute the steps. So actions, everything you do it in a sequence format. So the execution sequence of transactions is known as a schedule. So which transaction, which action is first, then which action is coming next? So we have to frame the transaction step by step. That sequence is known as a schedule. So a schedule maintains the order of the operation in each individual transaction. So what is schedule means? The schedule maintains the order of the operations. Which operation is executed first? Then what is the next operation? What is the next operation? It maintains the order of the operations for each and every transaction. That is the working of a schedule. So what is schedule means? Schedule is the execution sequence of transactions. So which, which transaction is, which uh, action is executed first, then what is the next action, next action like this. We have to prepare like timetable. So that is called the schedule. In the college also we have so many subjects are there. So we are, they are framing timetable. What is the use of timetable? Timetable means this is the first one hour we take some DBMS, second one hour, second hour OS, third hour like DM. So what is this? We are framing the timetable like means, means execution of actions. There are three actions are there, but which one is executed first, which one is coming next, we have to frame some timetable. This is called as schedule. According to this schedule, we are executing the college work. So how many types of schedules we have? There are two types of schedules are there. One is the serial schedule. Second one is non-serial schedule. Non-serial schedule is also known as parallel schedule. What is serial schedule? Serial schedule means executing the actions one after another in sequential order but non-serial schedule or parallel schedule means executing the transaction simultaneously uh, one after and not one after another simultaneously start one action without completing the transaction action go for second execute second action also that type of trans scheduling is known as parallel scheduling now we are check it which one is a serial schedule which one is the non-serial schedule so this is a sh serial scheduling definition. So what is serial scheduling means? See, transactions present in this schedule are executed serially. Serially means one after another. After the T1 completes, then T2 will be executed. For example, there are two transactions are there, T1 and T2. So either we can start T1, then T2. That means T1 is completed, then start T2. Or T2 is completed, then T1, your wish. That means one after another only. Start the execution of um, transaction T1 after T2 or T2 after T1. For two transactions, how many total number of serial schedules are possible? Means two, like this. There are how many transactions are there? T1 and T2. So how many ways you have to complete your transaction? Means there are two possible ways. Either T1 to T2. That means first take the T1 transaction, then com then com after completion of T1, start T2. Otherwise, start T2, after completion of T2, then start T1. So this is the, that means if where the two transactions are there, means factorial 2 are possible, 2 into 1, 2. So number of possible ways are like this. For example, there are three transactions are there, T1, T2, T3. So in how many ways serial you are executing the transaction means how many transactions are there? Number of transactions are 3. So factorial 3 is the possible ways to conducting in serial manner. Factorial 3 means 3 into 2 into 1. So how many ways? 6 ways is possible. See how it will be. So first start T1. After T1, T2, then T3. So this is the first method. Serial one after another T1 start T1 completion of T1 then go to T2 completion of T2 then start T3 this is the one method second one is again start T1 but instead of T2 it just exchange these three these two then T3 then T2 this is the another method 
starting the transaction is T1 only. But we, after T1 is completed, start T3, then T3 is completed, then start T2. So this is the one, one, two. Then third one. T1 is completed, then now start T2. Starting transaction is T2. Then after T2, completion of T1, then T3. This is the one set. And fourth set is again start with T2. T2 only not change anything. Just exchange these two. T3, then T1. This is also one set. First two sets are start with T1s. Second two sets are start with T2. Then fifth one. What is the fifth possible set? Now start with T3. T3, then T1, then T2. Sixth one. Again start with T3, but exchange these two. In a stuff T1, T2, T1. So these all are the possible six ways to complete your transactions whenever the transactions are three. So how many possible serial schedules we get means factorial 3, that is 6. If it is 4 transactions are there, if the transaction numbers are 4 means what is the possible ways of conducting serial elements? Factorial 4, factorial 4 means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, that is 24 ways we can write the transactions in serially. So this is the serial scheduling. Then go for non-serial schedule. In this serial schedule, what is the example as I will explain. Serial schedule means there are two transactions are there. This is the schedule. In the schedule, yes. How many transactions are there? T1, T2. So, uh, transaction means set of actions. Here I want to write read operation, then write operation. Then T1 is completed. Once T1 is completed, then start T2. R A W R A for reading W for this is the serial schedule example that means first which transaction is completed first complete the T1 then T2 this is example for T2 so this is the schedule T1 followed by T2 now one more schedule is first complete this is the schedule there are two transactions are there T1 and T2 first complete T2 transaction read A and write A after T2 is completed, then start T1. Read one, read operation, write operation. So here T2 is completed first, then T1. So this is called as T2. After T2, then T1. T2 followed by T1. So these are the two different types of serial scheduling. T1, then T2 or T2 to T1. Because you have two transactions are there. If there are two transactions are there, how many possible ways to complete your serial schedule means? Factorial 2, that is Two only. So T1 after T2 or T2 to T1. So this is the example of serial scheduling. Now I'll explain non-serial scheduling. Non-serial scheduling means here when a transaction is overlapped between the transactions T1 and T2. So you take two transactions, it not continuously. Continuous means one of not one after another. They are executing the transaction T1. Then we are without completing the E1, again start T2, then again T1 like this, overlapped between one transaction and another transaction that is called as non-serial schedule. See here I will give the example T1, read and write A. Again T2 is started, read B, write, read 2 of B, write of B. After 2, 2 is completed again, again start T1, read B, write B, again read A like this. So if you are doing the transaction like this, that is called as parallel scheduling. I will explain here. Schedule S, T1, then T2. Here I will start read A without completing here. Again start read A, W A, again read B without completing T2. Again start here read B, again write B, again start like this, if like this. If you are doing the transactions, Without completing one, you are jumping into another one. Without completing that, again come back to here like this. From here to here, here to here, overlapping. This type of transaction is known as non-serial scheduling. Also called as parallel scheduling. See here the example. Schedule. How many types of schedule are there? Means There are two types of schedules. Serial schedule, non-serial schedule. In the serial scheduling, you are not face any problem because... Transactions are executed one after another without conflicting one to another. We are successfully executing the transaction. But where we are getting the problems means in non-serial schedule only. So in the non-serial scheduling, you go for 
serializability and non serializability in the serializability we go for view serializability and conflict serializability so this serializability concept i will explain in the next video thank you for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe my channel share it to your friends and like this video thank you